So today we're going to learn how to create a GIF animation from a few photos that we've taken that we're going to combine to make this animation. So the first step is, is opening up Adobe Bridge. And in Adobe Bridge, you can look for your files. So I'm looking in my pictures file on the beach with Beatrice and Febo, and I found these three photos that I want to use for the GIF animation that I took of my niece making kind of an ugly, funny face. Um, the first thing I want to do is I want to stack them. And how do I do that? I select one, I hold my shift, I select the second and the third. The three are selected. I'm going to go up here where it says stacks and I'm going to select group as stack. And what that does is it puts them together. They're still separate files, but they're stacked as a group now of these three files. And you'll see the number three. If I had 10, it would say 10 there. After I've stacked them, I'm going to go under tools and I'm going to go to Photoshop, which is ultimately where we need to go so we can make our animation. And I'm going to select load files into Photoshop layers. And what that's going to do, it's going to open up Photoshop, it's going to take these three separate files and put them in one document but in three separate layers, which is what we need in order to create our animation. So we're going to wait for it. It's loading one, two, and here we go. So we've got these three images. If I turn them on and off, you can see the separate layers. What you want to do is you want to have your setup for animation and motion. And the way to do that is you go up here under Window and you want to make sure that your workspace is set to motion. So in case it's not, go up here, workspace, set it to motion. When you do, you're going to see at the bottom a timeline. What you want is to get a frame animation. So you're going to click on this button, create frame animation. And now you've got your first frame based on the first layer that's showing here. And what you want to do next is go to this little arrow pointing down and say make frames from layers. And it's going to, to make three frames based on the three layers. And so if you see, if I toggle from one to the other, you can see that different layers are turned on. So if I go to this one, you can see that this one is the one that's turned on, not these two, okay? So right now, I've got my play, rewind. If I hit the play, it's gonna go once and stop, and it's very fast. So the first thing I wanna do is where it says once, I want to say forever because you want your animation to keep looping just as when you look at GIF animations on Tumblr for example they don't stop they continue going so in order to do that you have to create a loop so you want to go over here and say forever so now if I play this you could see it's playing it now it's a little too fast for me so what I'm going to do is where it says zero seconds I'm going to change these and I'm gonna put maybe 0.1 seconds and you can play with this any way you want you might want one image to stay longer than another one I want them basically to all go about the same um, Speed so I put them all for 0.1. I'm gonna hit play. It's a little bit better So I'm done here the next thing I want to do is if you look at this file, if you look here at the document size, it says it's 51 megs and with the three layers, it's 153 megs. Now you know that you don't need such a large file for anything that you're going to view on a computer or through the web specifically. You really need a file that is much, much smaller, say one meg, two meg. That's about it. So in order for us to have a one meg or two meg file, we need to reduce the file size of this. And one way to do it is if you look at the image right now on the screen and you like the way it looks as far as the size is concerned, then go down here and look at what it says for your percentage. It's saying that you're viewing this image at 12.5%. If I view this image at 100% on the screen, it's really gigantic. So as you can see, we don't need it to be this big. We need the image to be much smaller, about 12% smaller. So, um, no, about at 12%, excuse me. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go up here under image and you're gonna say image size. And at the very top where it says pixel dimensions, you're gonna switch from pixels to percent. And you're gonna see the percent right here and you're gonna put that percentage in, 12%, and you're gonna say okay. Now watch what happens. The file is only 756K. It is much, much smaller. And you'll notice now that you're viewing this file at 12% is much, much smaller. So if you put it at 100%, now it's gonna be the size that you need for the screen. 
I know it's confusing, but just try to remember what I said. So I'm going to do Command Z and go back. So I'm going to go back to this percentage here and put in 25%. See how big that is? That's still too big for a screen. So I'm going to say, okay, let's see, maybe 15%. Okay, I like 15%. Same thing. I'm going to go back, image, image size. I'm going to go percent, percent, and I'm going to put in 15%. And now that's the size that I want. If I put in 100% now, because I've reduced the image size, that's the size I'm going to see it on the screen if I put it on Tumblr. So, so far so good. We've got our three frames that we want. We've given them the speed that we want. The next thing that we have to do is we have to save this for the web as a GIF. And the way that you do that is you go under File and you say Save for Web. And you want to make sure to choose GIF. So if you look up here, the file format needs to be GIF. If it's JPEG, you won't get the three layers animating. It has to be a GIF. So choose GIF. And you next want to choose, um, I would say Diffusion is fine. You can play with these and you'll see your image is going to change. Um, and your size is going to change. So this is 641K. That's not bad. That's pretty small. It actually looks better in pattern. If I do noise, not much of a difference. The file size is a little bit bigger. Um, if I do diffusion again, it's much smaller, but you can see that I'm starting to get kind of like funny colors here, and I don't really like it. So I'm going to leave it at pattern. You can also reduce the amount of colors. If I go, say, to 128 colors, it got rid of quite a few colors. You can see in the color table I had 256. It got rid of 100, about a, whatever, 125. But this still looks pretty good, and my size is only 519. So you can play around with this for a while. I'm going to say this is good to go. My looping options are set forever. My pixel size is 518 by 778. That's actually a good size. I'm going to say save. I'm going to name it Marisol Face, and I'm going to save it to my desktop temporarily. My format, I want it to be images only, not HTML or not HTML only, just images only. Save. I'm going to go to Firefox, and I'm going to, it's a browser as we all know, Firefox is a browser. And I'm going to say File, Open File. I'm going to look for that file, Marisol Face. That's the one I just did. And I'm going to open it. And now there is Marisol Face as a GIF animation. So it's as easy as that. So essentially, if you have your Tumblr open and you want to upload a file, you would do the same thing. Upload file, you'd look for it on your desktop, the GIF, you'd choose it, and voila, you have a GIF animation.